part of the vlog is so stupid. <laughs> So we're here at Al's Garden Center and um, we're pretty much just shopping for our herbs for our backyard. So um, I'm in the middle of my work day. I'm using my lunch to do this and my sweet husband came with me in his cute little flower shirt. So yeah, I have some herbs in mind and we're gonna see what they have and hopefully get them potted and out today. Yeah, look at these flirty little frogs. This one's my favorite. <laughs> it's literally me. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my gosh. The stuff that they have. These are the cutest little collections. I'm whispering because I'm kind of shy. <laughs> it's really quiet in here. But I love this display right here. How cute this polka dot picture is. And then I love this pinstripe container. Oh my gosh. Look at how cool all this stuff is. Jump scare. <laughs> and he's wearing the flower shirt. You already know. <laughs> you already, you know. <laughs> there are little baby oh limes, God. lemons on there. Look at this one, it has grapes on it. I want a lime tree. Do you think it'll actually grow though? This is like rock hard. Uh, well, it needs to just get warm enough so like inside. But you can see, look. What does it say? Sun, three to five feet. Hardy to 35. Five. The little onions. Do they smell good? I can't yeah. smell. They kind of smell good. I remember they had chives one time. Remember? Yeah. There are no herbs. There are some. But this whole thing was supposed to be herbs and veggies and there's nothing. Well. And then there's some of these little ones. Oh, look at the needle butter. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my god, it's such a bummer. What do I do? Okay, so we have to do a little bit of a change of plan because Al's had no herbs left. So we are actually in another city right now going to our closest Lowe's. But first we're trying the milkshake from Chick-fil-A. I've never had it. I only got into Chick-fil-A like a few months ago. So you ready? Cheers. Cheers. Oh my it. god, it's thick. <laughs> this <is true. laughs> mm. It tastes like vanilla. I'm a huge peach person though, so I love you know vanilla. I could kind of see peach, but it tastes like vanilla. Probably like a vanilla base or whatever. Mm, that is really good, but it's vanilla, so. You need a knife to cut through this. Nick. Now we eat, and I'll start filming again once we get to the store. We are at World Market first, and then Lowe's, but um, I forgot there was a World Market in this area, so of course I'm going to take advantage. Um, and my poor husband has his peach milkshake. But yeah, they have the coolest furniture always. I always feel like World Market is just a little too expensive for my taste, especially for what you're getting. It's definitely not always quality, but very cute. And then look at this really cool dresser, chest, I don't know, but it's cool. Made it to Lowe's and they have a bunch of herbs, so saved the day and I'm so excited. Okay, so I'll let you guys know what I pick out as I find it. I got sage from Al's. They seem to have a really nice plant. And we're in like the peppermint basil section and rosemary. So I want a little bit of all of those. But look how beautiful and thriving these plants are. Very excited. What? Eight inch. Eight inch pot. 
So yeah, they're gonna get between two to three feet high. Okay, well, what we're trying to decide is I have quite a few different pot size arrangements. I picked out all my herbs, and I don't know if I overdid it or underdid it. So he's reading the label, but I still am not sure. But we have some beautiful rosemary, some sweet basil, some pesto, presto basil, I guess. These like are much larger leaves, and then some mint. So I got two or three of each bunch, and that's all they have here. I do have that little sage I just bought. Um, so I think we're good, right? I think that's good. You could look at the smaller ones too over there. Sit like that, something else. There's also True. cilantro behind you. True, but it looks like it's dying. So look at all the stuff they have. They have a lot of. It is very hot. My little flower boy. They have red romaine lettuce. They have corn and stuff. Tomatoes. They do. Yeah. But I'm not much of a uh, veggie grower. I don't have the patience or the skill set. So we don't have space. That's right. That's right. So, I don't know, but seeing little baby peppers is pretty cute. I don't know what vlog this is appearing in, and I don't know um, what day this is, but I got a very special order in. You guys can see that. Sanders chocolates. Okay. Long story short, I discovered Sanders chocolates um, at Home Goods of all places. I found a little, like, sample pack. I bought it on a whim in the checkout line and it was the best chocolate I've ever had in my life. Um, I tried looking for it at every store and they did not have it. So I had to order it online. And this, what you're seeing right here is a box of $100 worth of Sanders chocolate. I got every single chocolate option that they had that I was interested in. And my husband and I are going to do a taste test for you. So without further ado, please welcome the one, the only. You see it? He's looking away from me. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks. Happy to be here. I the symbols. Okay. Does the box come like this? Yeah. Like, oh. No, see, it's per perforated. They have everything. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys what we have for Hazel. This is definitely not a challenge for you. Do you time to scoot. Scoot out. Anyway. Here. Okay. So the one I had tried at Home Goods was the Sanders. The Sanders Dark Chocolate Sea Salt Caramel Thins. So we got three of these. One for my dad, two for us. Um, we got the, these are the dark chocolate ones. The Dark Chocolate Sea Salt Caramel. The Milk Chocolate Sea Salt Caramels. We, are, we have not yet tried these ones. We got the Milk Chocolate um, Sea Salt Caramels with pecan in it. And these ones are not the thins. These are the regular sized ones. And then, honey, would you like to show them these ones? I don't even remember what you got. There's so many. This is the Small Batch Wonders Dark Chocolate Caramel Block. Darker chocolate and caramel inside. Okay. Oh, but wait. There's 30 more. There is the Milk Chocolate Peanut Butter Block. Creamy milk chocolate and creamy peanut butter. Ugh, I hate milk chocolate. Well... It doesn't like you either. <laughs> and then lastly here, of this kind, there is the dark chocolate peanut butter block. It's just dark chocolate. So, yeah. Start with the classic one, okay? I feel like we're going to feel really sick after this, but it's okay. Okay, so dark chocolate ones. Help yourself, honey. These are so the OG. This, the dark chocolate? Dark chocolate sea salt caramel thins. Hmm. I do like the thin part. I like it thinner. I mean, yeah. I haven't had the normal ones yet, but it's just the perfect chocolate, though. God, these are good. Milk chocolate ones. You're the one that wanted these. Yeah. You want to open that up? Thanks. Yeah. You don't like it that much. I hate it. I hate it. No, I'm not a milk chocolate gal. Not for me. Ugh. You know, if I eat this whole thing, that's, I think I have a problem. But. Are you really that much of a milk chocolate guy? No. Dark chocolate all the way. Oh, these are huge. Look at the size of these Hazel. Ones. Literally double the size. Okay. I don't have anything for you. Definitely not for you. These are not treats. 
Oh, do I grab one too? Yeah, but I'm probably gonna end up having to eat this one. Here's. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Mm. It's a pecan. Yeah. No! You stay! You call pecan or pecans? Pecan? Pecan. Honestly, I go. I, I freestyle. These are divine. If you're from the South, it's pecans. Honestly, if these were dark chocolate, it'd be end game for me. That's really good. These are amazing. Already. Mm -hmm. They look really yeah. good. Do you want to start with the dark chocolate? Hell yeah, dude. See, these are pretty. Oh my. You look like Legos. You have to show a close up. Oh, cool! It's three different bars. Can so you, you don't see have that? To open. You can keep them fresh. Okay. Let me to show two. There's two. Well, there's two in each one. So this is the. Is that going to focus? Yeah. Or just going to go for it? Or chocolate peanut butter. Maybe each bite aside. One, two. <laughs> Do you're, it! You're going to laugh and spit in my face. <laughs> I'm not going to spit in your face. Pretty good. The chocolate's really rich. It's really good though. What? That's straight up peanut butter. And you don't like? No, no, no. Oh, I have learned. Reese's? I'm a Reese's girl now. Wow. So you don't really like other chocolate peanut butter stuff. No, I don't. I'm no, not selective. for you. This is not for you. Oh no. my god, that's amazing! And the peanut butter goes into like each divot. Oh, that is so good. I go for seconds, but Stop I your head. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed with that one. Phone died, so we're shooting on my husband's iPhone. So excuse the quality. I remember the camera's right there. Oh, Hazel. She's like right here, like in the worst spot possible. Anyway, would you like to do the honors with the... Yes. I'm not excited about this one. It is going to be like a Reese's though, I think. Oh, good. Okay. You want me to go for it? Well, you could be romantic. It looks like his abs. I know, right? We show that to them. It looks like boobs and abs. It looks like boobs and abs. Look like at it. <laughs> Do you see that? Look at, what is that? Subliminal messaging. Destruction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good for you. That's really good. You can't have chocolate. I'm sorry. Okay, last one. This part of the vlog is so stupid. <laughs> um, so the last one. I'm really Go excited on. with this one. It is dark chocolate with caramel. So going. Last one. Last one that I ordered. They have like dairy free and they I think they have coconut. Not you. Yeah, I'm not a fan of either, so. I mean, I like to go home and enjoy it, but that's, that's like the last pick. You know, like when you're a kid and you like have all the bag of candy, like the almond joy was like the last thing, but you still eat it because it's candy? No, I would never eat it. Yeah. Don't bite my lip. Justin. I get hints of like coffee. Yeah. Like, I don't know if it's just the chocolate. I don't really like that one. Hmm. It's not bad. I don't taste the caramel in it's it. It's really, um, it's really cocoa. Rich. Yeah. Like, it's cocoa coffee ish. Yeah, it is. Sanders, dude. <laughs> <laughs> My guy Sanders out here messing up the batches. <laughs> is this one the espresso co or chocolate or is this a. I'm not gonna lie. The only one I'll ever order again is the dark chocolate caramel thins. So. Not your clusters. You know what? And the pecan clusters, and that's it, I think. And the cho dark chocolate peanut butter bar. Hmm. What are your top three? Yeah, I think both peanut bar butter bars are good. That kind of exceeded my, I thought it was going to be like a really cheap like peanut butter. No, yeah, the peanut butter good. quality was phenomenal. 
Um, and I like the milk chocolate sea salt caramel things. This one. Good. They're all yours. Thanks for doing this with me. <laughs> Thanks for watching this part. <laughs>